On this day, exactly 100 years ago, a horrifying discovery was made on a farmstead in Turtle Lake. Eight people were found murdered. Although it's unknown exactly how long the bodies went unnoticed, officials say April 2nd, 1920 was the day farmer Jacob Wolf, his wife Beata, five young daughters, and a chore boy, Jacob Hofer, were killed. Only the baby, Emma Wolf, survived. Renee Cooper dives into the legacy left in the wake of this haunting tragedy. At the gravesite, the headstone reads, in German, the murdered family. Ask my mother, what is murder? What is murder? I remember that. Kurt Hansen, now 75, is Emma Wolf Hansen's son. Emma, the sole survivor, passed away in 2003. But Kurt still visits the old family homestead, although it looks very different today. 95% of the time, I, I think. When I'm out here, I think of it. And I often wonder what my grandpa and grandma were like. You know, I hear he was not a easy man to get along with. Kurt's grandfather was Jacob Wolf. Gleaned from old newspapers, which can all be found at the McLean County Museum in Washburn, the story is that Wolf had trouble with a neighbor, Henry Lair, for a long time. Lair ultimately confessed to all eight murders. Museum curator Rhonda Johnson told me Lair even said if he knew baby Emma was in another room, he would have killed her too. But it's widely debated whether or not Lair could have carried out the heinous crime on his own. We feel he had a part in it, but there had to be more than one. The sheriff was 34 years old. No, it's it's not one of those things that you pin on a badge and expect you're going to deal with in North Dakota the next day. Sergeant Kurt Olson works for the McLean County Sheriff's Office today, but he has always had a fascination with law enforcement history, which explains the old uniform and squad car he drives off duty. This is the biggest mass murder in North Dakota history. Although this property now lies dormant, the story of the 1920 murders will always linger. Oh, it's been a part of my life since I can remember that different relatives and people would stop in and want to see my mother, you know, that she was the wolf girl. He recalls the tale through his mother's eyes. That title, Wolf Girl, stuck with Kurt's mom her whole life, making it tough to leave the past behind her. They bullied her and and she, there were a lot of times she said that drove me to tears. Hansen says no one really farmed here after the murders until his dad, Clarence Hansen, picked things back up in 1948 or 49. She never felt loved until she met my dad. <laughs> and then I think, man, a little kid doesn't feel loved. She says she had one little dress to wear to school. <laughs> Excuse me. Although the land sits quietly again, the Wolf family legacy lives on thanks to the strength of the sole survivor. Reporting for KX News in Turtle Lake, Renee Cooper. Kurt Hansen is one of three of Emma Wolf Hansen's children. He has two sisters. One has passed away, but neither of them had any children. Kurt says he doesn't know how much his own daughters even know of the story. So although it's a tale that will live on in McLean County, Kurt is the last true link to the haunting tale of the Wolf family murders. So 